I don't like talking to myself in public, it's weird. <laughs> So we are doing a tour of Comuna 13 and it has a super interesting background. Sometimes as tourists, it's easy to fall into the trap of like, let's take pictures here. This is cute. Let's do that. But we don't really know the history behind um, some of these places. Comuna 13 is a community of resistance, resistance to the violence that was coming at them from all sides. Comuna 13 is a community that was able to rebuild, where less than 10 years ago, they were considered the second most dangerous community in the world. And now, they are one of Colombia's biggest tourist attractions. It was really great to be able to walk through the city and just see how people did not let the narrative of it being the most dangerous city in the world keep them um, within those four walls or keep them in that box. Hi. The government passed a law that rewarded law enforcement every time they provided proof that they killed a gang member. They were rewarded with raises and promotions. This led to corruption, where officers would kill innocent people and dress them up as gang members. Government officials also began implementing quotas. Thousands of Colombians went missing during this time. I think it's just a really empowering story of a town, of a city. Obviously there was a lot of collective pain there and experiences that needed to be validated by the government and by the state. But he spoke so much about being a family. He spoke a lot about hope, which really inspired me because hope is a really big word for my life. This isn't a history lesson from a century ago or even 50 years ago. This was happening as little as 10 years ago. Hey there, so Future Ali here. I just wanted to say that if you ever find yourself in Colombia, in Medellin, absolutely, absolutely go visit Comuna 13. There's a lot of controversy on which tours to do and who it's benefiting. So I would recommend to go with Zippy Tours and ask for Esteban. He is a local from the community. He is hilarious. I want to go and eat something in the Comuna. <laughs> Don't be there. <laughs> that was our very awesome tour guide. I know this video is not like my last two videos and that was on purpose, but I felt like it was necessary. I I'm leaving all the information for Zippy Tours and how to contribute to Comuna 13 and the Beat Boys that were in this video all in the description below. Feel free to check those out. All right. So I'm gonna be 
honest with you, because you're honest with me. I say I'm going to post videos every Thursday, but it's looking a lot like every Friday. So I'm going to keep saying Thursdays, but you and I both know I mean Fridays. So if you like this video, I want to keep watching my adventures throughout South America, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. Remember, every Thursday, but probably Friday. Oh, ice cream fell. That's what I get for trying to record.